the new killer will have very high kill rates. And you might be saying, well, everyone thinks she's low tier. Everyone thinks she's not that good. And honestly, they're probably right. She probably isn't that good of a killer, but she'll have very high kill rates regardless. My reason for this is simple. And to figure that out, we are going to be looking at the kill rates for all killers. So what we're going to be focusing on is the top five killers, which happen to be the Cenobite, Cannibal, Nightmare, Plague, and Pig. Now, what is something that the four out of these five killers have in common? It's the fact that they have passive slowdown. The Cenobite has the Chain Hunt, which basically activates as time goes on and the survivors actually have to go and work on the box to stop it from happening. The Nightmare has the Dream World, where people are just dragged into the Dream World and his powers become actually effective there, where normally he can't use his powers in the regular world. The Plague has the passive sickness buildup, where if you get any puke on you for any reason, you slowly get more and more sick until you become a one-shot. And then you have Pig, who has one of the most inconsistent game delays in the game by putting traps on survivors' heads and forcing them to take off traps. You also have the Cannibal, who's really high up, but I mean, he's just Chainsaw Boy, don't worry about him. But still, four of the five killers, most of which would say aren't even that good, have the highest kill rate and that's because of their passive slowdown, in my opinion. And either you have to do nothing for it or you have to do virtually nothing for it. And the new killer has passive slowdown. So basically you have these things called condemn stacks and every time the killer teleports to you or if you interact with a TV, you build up condemned. And when the condemn stacks reach all the way around, your screen gets kind of fuzzy and you can be worried instantly. Let's be real, it's not that good. It can still be decent though. You can build around it to make it more consistent. You could always threaten with it and even if it's something that they can easily get rid of, that's something they have to actively do that isn't generators to make sure that they're not a one shot down. If you combine that with the fact that a majority of people playing this game are not super invested into it and this killer is really confusing, a lot of players are just not gonna know what to do. They're going to interact with TVs way too much. They're not going to get rid of the condemned aspect when they should. They're going to just be extremely confused. They're going to die a lot trying to figure out how to deal with this killer. And maybe like three years down the line, this killer will have lower kill rates if they're never touched. But I genuinely believe because of the fact there's just such an influx of, of newer players who won't be able to understand the kit combined with the fact that she has passive slowdown just means she's going to have a high kill rate. And... If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, you know, told you. But give me your thoughts in the comments below. I'd, I'd love to hear them, and I will catch you guys later.